Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In today's video, we will talk about dividing polynomials using long division. So without further ado, let's do this topic. We have here the problem, divide using long division. We have two polynomials. You have 6x squared minus 2x minus 28 divided by 2x plus 4. So paano ba yung setup nito? Review muna tayo ha. In this given problem, this is your dividend. And this is your divisor. In multiplying polynomials using long division, para ka na nagmumultiply ng mga whole numbers, like your elementary days or ng grade 7 days ka. So, paano ba ginagawang long division? Una, iset ako muna yung, yung divisor. Sa labas, you have here 2x plus 4 to be divided by 6x squared minus 2x minus 28. So, una, so, ito yung kailangan nyo matandaan, eh. You, we, have, we only have three, three steps na pwede natin pulit ulitin. You have to divide multiply and subtract. So, ang unang dinidivide dito, guys, ay yung leading coefficient ng divisor at ng dividend. So, ano ba yung leading coefficient ng iyong dividend? Ito siya. At yung leading coefficient ng iyong divisor ay yung 2x. So, we need to divide those two terms. So, let's start. 6x squared divided by 2x, that will give you 3x. At ilalagay mo siya dito sa ibabaw na to. Now, kung hindi ka pa ganun galing mag-divide ang terms, pwede mo siyang gawin dito sa right side. You have 6x squared divided by 2x. So, alam naman natin that 6 divided by 2 is 3. At x squared divided by x, that will give you x. Kaya nakuha natin ay 3x. Now, we are done dividing. Then after that, ang susunod mo gagawin is you need to multiply. Ano yung multiply mo? You will be multiplying 3x sa dalawang to using distributive property. Okay? So first, let's multiply 3x and 2x. That will give you 6x squared. Then after that, 3x times 4, that will give you plus 12x. So, you're done multiplying. Ang next step mo naman is you need to subtract. We need to subtract it. Pero lagyan mo ng parenthesis. Okay? So, if you have 6x squared minus 6x squared, that will give you 0. Okay? And then, when you subtract negative 2x minus 12x, that will give you minus 14x. So we need to erase 0 because that's 0. And then bring down minus 28. So you have here minus 28. Ngayon, meron ko na panibagong dividend. Ang leading coefficient mo ngayon negative 14x. So yung negative 14x, ay divide mo siya ngayon kay 2x. So negative 14x, dito natin ilagay. Divided by 2x, that will give you negative 7. Okay? So, neg again, negative 14x divided by 2x, that will give you negative 7. So, minus 7 tayo dito. Then, repeat lang natin. I-multiply natin yung negative 7 by 2x. That will give you minus 14x. Then, after that, negative 7 times 4, that will give you minus 28. We're not yet done because we need to subtract. So, medyo mahirap yung sign dito. Pero mangyayari dito, kapag ganti yung setup, ito, pantandaan nyo yan ha. You can multiply the signs. Ito, i-multiply mo rito. Ang mangyayari yan, di ba ang rule natin sa addition? You need to change the operation and then change the sign of your subtrahend. So, magiging plus to, plus and plus. 
Okay? So, negative 14x my plus 14x it will give you 0. And then, negative 28 plus 28, that will give you 0. So, wala tayong remainder. At ang sagot natin ngayon ay 3x minus 7. Therefore, when you divide 6x squared minus 2x minus 28 by 2x plus 4, that is equal to 3x minus 7. This is our quotient. Okay? So, I hope na sa first example pa lang natin, you already know how to use long division in dividing polynomials. By the way, I have another example na pwede nyo pag-aralan. So, I have here example number 2 in which sabi dito, divide x cubed minus 4x squared plus 2x minus 3 over x plus 2. This polynomial in the numerator is your dividend. And this polynomial in your denominator is your divisor. So, set up ulit natin. Tulad na kanina, you have x plus 2 divided by x cubed minus 4x squared plus 2x minus 3. So, another thing pala na kailangan turo sa inyo is you need to check whether your dividend is in descending order. Dapat mauna yung leading coefficient o yung term with the variable na mayroong mataas exponent. Okay? So, ito namang example natin sa okay. So, let's divide. x cubed by x. So, you have x cubed divided by x. That will give you x squared. Kasi 3 minus 1, that is 2. So, ilagay mo dito, x squared. Then after this, multiply mo to isa, isa x squared times x, that will give you x cubed. Then x squared times 2, that is plus 2x squared. Then, after multiplying, syempre, you need to subtract. Tandaan yung sequence natin eh. Divide, multiply, and subtract. So if you have x squared, ah uh, sorry, x cubed minus x cubed, that is 0. Then negative 4 x squared minus 2x squared, that will give you minus 6x squared. Then bring down natin yung 2x. So you have here plus 2x. Gagawin mo ngayon, itong negative 6x squared mo, I divided by x. So, magkakaroon kayo ng negative 6x. So, ilagay mo dito, minus 6x. Itong negative 6x na ito, yung multiply natin isa isa dito sa x plus 2. So, negative 6x times x, that will give you minus 6x squared. And negative 6x times 2, that will give you minus 12x, right? Then you need to subtract. So minus, isin na natin. So negative 6x squared, ito muna, magiging plus, plus, plus. So negative 6x squared plus 6x squared, that is 0. And then negative, uh, sorry, 2x plus 12x, it will give you plus 14x. Then after that, bring down minus 3. So last step natin, yung 14x divided by x, that is 14. So you need to put here plus 14. Then after that, yung 14 naman, multiply natin dito sa dalawang to. So 14 times x, that is 14x. Right? Tapos itong 14 times 2, that will give you 
plus 28. So, mangyari dito, subtract natin. What will happen? Ito magiging plus, magiging minus, ito magiging minus din. So, meron ka ngayon 14x plus 14x that is 0. Then, negative 3 plus negative 28 will give you minus 31. Ito ngayon yung lalabas na remainder. So, meron tayong remainder 31. And the quotient is this. Okay? So, paano ngayon natin susulat yung ating, ano, yung ating sagot? Okay? So, ganti yung ano yan since meron tayong remainder. Example number 2 is different from the first example kasi yung example natin kanina, sa unang-una, wala siyang remainder. And this time, yung number 2 natin is we have negative 31 as the remainder. So, ganti yung final answer nito. So, you will be writing, una, copy him yung quotient. Kapag may remainder to, ah, x squared minus 6x plus 14, then you have minus 31 over x plus 2. This is the answer for item number 2. So, paano natin ako yung sagot ito? Una yung quotient mo muna. x squared minus 6x plus 14. Tapos, ilagay mo yung remainder sa numerator mo. At yung divisor mo na x plus 2 dito. So, that's it. So, I hope na natutunan niyo yung method natin on how to use long division in dividing polynomials. So, kung bago lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like and subscribe. I-hit mo na rin yung bell button para updated ka sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!